Hi, and thanks for joining us. We would also like to see someone nicer in his place, but he doesn't croak badly. So let's talk about the brightest news of this week, which you will see in Hidden Angle. Please welcome the duck, which for some reason is not in the ramen, but in our show instead. Mr. Quack. Hello, Western world. My Saturday was going really well until I realized it was Sunday. It's maddening when the weekend isn't every day, but during this time, I have found for you the biggest losers of this world, and I'm ready to make fun of them from beak to tail. See if you are not presented on the list. Let's go! Chess Grandmaster Hans Niemann denies using vibrating sex toy to cheat. Very much sounds like a gay couple scandal. But I'm a bit surprised that using a sex toy is considered cheating at all. The guy was using it for pleasure, and his win is a pure coincidence. It's just about feeling comfy at work. It's just a tiny cell phone, you quacking pervert. Shock doctors retrieve 60 household items from his gut. Well, I'm not judging this guy, cause he must be simply trying to find himself in a complicated world of gastronomy. And he's got so obsessed with it that he just forgot to shit it out. What? I'm done with Apple S stuffing for ages, but my ass still produce an apple per week. That's what these quacking ducks should be shocked about. You can book Shrek Swamp on Airbnb. See inside the fictional ogre's residence complete with an outhouse. So what? I know one country that is nothing but a huge Shrek Swamp with all its fantastic creatures. But you don't have to look at on Airbnb. All you need is a quaking Russian passport. Angry peasants are included. Ukraine's new Marichka underwater suicide drone shown in test. Marichka, what a name. Normally, the cuter the name, the deadlier the weapon it was called with. Hmm. <clears throat> Suicide drone could be a hell of an option for one night stand. One explosive night. <laughs> Ukraine's parliament taunts Elon Musk after meme mocking Zelensky. New week, new quack up from the richest child in the world. Elon could possibly be pissed off by his Ukrainian satellites being taken down by the US government. But I'm pretty sure about two things. There's no way you can win a meme war over the country in a real war. And secondly, having tons of money doesn't always lead to sanity. Watch this. Ukraine Special Forces said on Monday that Admiral Sokolov and 33 other officers died in a missile strike on the fleet's HQ in Sevastopol, occupied Crimea. And we are now live with my inflated through ass colleague Tanya. Hey Tanya, do you still have this stick in your ass? Hey Quack, keep talking like this and it's gonna be the last duck tail in your life. Can't wait. So, I'm at a video conference of Russian Defense Ministry. Be careful. If they'll notice you, they might give you a Russian passport. They won't. Because I guess I was confused with some of their local generals. They talk pretty much the way I do. <laughs> okay, uh, have you noticed anything interesting? Of course. I've just seen the spirit of dead Russian admiral, who was heroically swallowing a Ukrainian missile during the attack on Russian fleet headquarters in Sevastopol just yesterday. And now he's joining the meeting. 
Are you sure it's a spirit and not some AI-generated hologram? Believe me, it's Russians. For them, it's much easier to handle the Book of the Dead instead of dealing with this complicated IT stuff. By the way, they were also discussing to have the spirit of Stalin on their meeting. But then they decided to avoid their internal dictatorship competition. Then they have accidentally summoned the spirit of Prigozhin, who started aggressively demanding ammo. So they've got rid of him by putting into the spirit of airplane that was hidden by the spirit of Russian missile. They've also attempted to summon Lenin, but he refused to leave his chilling place, which Russian call mausoleum. I thought that Russian spiritual passion is limited to drinking vodka, but now I see it's a bit different story. Okay, so this admiral, did he say anything? Of course he did. He begged to take him back to hell. He said that life conditions there are much more comfortable than in Russia. And this despite the fact that he's been banged by Satan on a daily basis there. Oh, I see they've already filled the bathtub with deer horns. So Minister Shegu will be taking a bath right now. So I have to go, so that I don't need to unsee it. Hold on, one more thing. What? What's next? Nike begins selling used sneakers online. Seems Nike have just created a premium segment of second-hand clothing. Selling what's already sold is quacking genius. What's next? Selling used toothbrushes and used dildos? Can't wait to see. Russia seeks to rejoin UN's Human Rights Council. Weird that Russia is still attempting to associate itself with human rights in any way. Or they have just violated all the possible human rights on spot. So now they are out of ideas and seek inspiration with the UN's Human Rights Council. Hmm, pretty quacking good move. The Beckhams finally break their silence on Rebecca Luce after 20 years. Victoria tearfully reveals how claims of David's alleged affair with SPA was the hardest time of her life. I love these outdated celebrities with an entrepreneurial mindset. They don't get retired. They just sell their 20-year-old adventures of David's cock. Hell of a content for Netflix, don't you think? Not just a quacking talking duck, right? Watch this. Pastor locks himself into cage full of lions to show he has divine protection. These modern Jesuses are so quacking lazy. The original Jesus had to die and resurrect, turn water into wine and other stuff to prove his validity. Today you just lock yourself into a petting zoo and that's it. You are considered the saint. I'd love to see how this divine protection works against hungry lions in the wild African savanna. Tomb of 2,300-year-old Greek courtesan found in Jerusalem burial cave. Well, I wouldn't recommend anyone to open the courtesan tombs. Because apart from 2,300-year-old box mirror, you could also find some 2,300-year-old syphilis, which is not that funny. Believe the lab duck who tried this stuff a lot. Archaeologists find 2,000-year-old eyeshadow and blush in ancient Roman city of Aizanoi. 
Can we somehow find if it's the same jewelry shop that this 2,300 year old Greek courtesan got her box mirror? But seriously, who do you want to surprise with this stuff? Dig around and let us know when you find some courtesans. I went to a bizarre penis village where everything you can think of is phallus shaped. Sounds like a favorite dream of Uncle Freud. I wonder if the creator of this village visits psychotherapists. Hmm. Penis Village could be a great name for a hot dogs company. That's all quacked up news for today. Push that wing up button if you enjoyed the show. I'll check out the comments too. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next gust of news frenzy. And I haven't been lying on the couch for a long time. There's a lot to do. See ya!